thanks for taking up and check it out now pray to face get exposed people i ain't got time for this let me tell y'all straight and short and quick to the point bow wow is the new fraud king okay soldier boy move over nigga give me your title of fraudery to bow wow i'm getting to find out that apple doesn't fall too far from the tree think about the biggest frauds in hip-hop most of them they hang out together right sean kingston one of them he's best friends with soldier boy they're fucking frauds right and then we get to find out that bow wow is frauding and bow wow and soldier boy just did a fucking album so all these frauds they learn from each other now i like bow wow do not get it fucked up i like him as a person i don't think he's someone that people should just hate however the the facts is the facts. Bow Wow has been frauding. And I went back into his history and I realized that Bow Wow might have been frauding longer than Soulja Boy. Now, I'm going to paint the picture for y'all, but let's start at the most recent incident, right? We got Bow Wow who gets on a gram and I don't know what the fuck possessed this motherfucker, but he puts up a picture of a motherfucking private jet, a Mercedes Sprinter, a uh, S-Class Mercedes, right? And he captioned about saying, travel day. New York City press run for grown up hip hop. Let's go! I promise to bring y'all the hottest show ever, May 25th on WeTV. Now, this is all good and well. Except, he did not get on a fucking private jet. He was in economy class on United Airlines. Yes, Bow Wow could have possibly been dragged off the fucking plane. Now, somebody that was sitting behind him said, what the fuck? I'm looking at his Instagram. He says he's on a jet, but he's on he's on a fucking plane with me. So they took a picture of him, captioned it by saying, so this guy, little Bow Wow, is on my flight to New York. But on Instagram, he posted a picture of a private jet caption, traveling to New York today? Shaking my fucking head. Now, the thing about liars is that even when you confront them about lying, they don't tell the truth. They're a fucking liar. They tell more lies to cover up the initial lie. Now, again, he could have caught the L right there and just took it and just bowed out, but then he doubled down. He said on Instagram, he said, yo, niggas so dumb. Niggas take an old picture to say where I was and wasn't. Who do that? Y'all better stop playing with me. Ha, 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 ha. Niggas retarded. Catch me at Teterboro tomorrow, going back home. Half y'all broke motherfuckers still can't afford a buddy pass on Spirit Airlines. Stay out the big boy lane. Oh, people. He's doubling down. He said the picture that homie took was old. And let's say, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's say it was old. Now, someone else exposed him. They exposed this motherfucker that the picture he posted was not, listen, his picture wasn't old, his picture wasn't current, his picture wasn't even fucking his. The picture he posted actually belonged to the Fort Lauderdale VIP Transportation Company, a company that rents all these things, including the fucking private jet. That's a stock photo. That's a fucking stock photo, not live. It's a stock photo that they advertise to their customers. So basically, that nigga did not hit the clear port. He ain't go and hit the motherfucking private jet. He hit Google for the picture. Okay? Now, that's as sad as it could possibly get. Because everybody's roasting him now. And of course, I know he ain't broke. But why the fuck do you need to let people think you're living a larger lifestyle than you actually are? Now, the problem with most of these people who do a lot of fraudery, and I want to say Sean Kingston, B Big Draco, and of course, Shad Moss, they've all fell off as rappers. So they ain't getting millions no more from rapping, okay? Actually, maybe Bow Wow's getting from residual money. Actually, Soulja Boy's probably doing it too, but like, they're not living a lifestyle like they're making $10 million a year. They're living probably a modest lifestyle. If they've invested well, they could live well. However, these motherfuckers want you to believe they getting 10, 20 million. They want you to think that they live in like Drake and they live in like The Weeknd and Justin. No, nigga. That's the problem. They don't want to just seem like they're okay. They want to still have the perception they're living that lifestyle. Now, the reason why I'm saying that Bow Wow is the new fraud king is that I did a little research on Bow Wow and I realized that his fraudery it goes all the way back, okay? All the way back. I mean, I could go back to 2009, but I don't want to make this video too long. I'm going to just start at 2014. He usually does at least three fraud acts every year, okay? I'm going to just point out a couple of them. Let's start at 2014. Now, in 2014, he posted up on Instagram him in a Ferrari acting like that was his new purchase. And basically, he put up a caption saying, take the drop top to the night spot. Keep the California in California. We went hard tonight, Grammy weekend. And he put a picture of him in the car. Now, first of all, 
I don't know if he was trying to rhyme his fucking caption, but this is the reason why you're not popping no more. Bala, I like you. I'm just letting you know you're cool, but bro, you cut the fucking fraudery out, all right? Now, when the car company that rented him the car saw that shit, and by the way, he had made the bold proclamation that year on Instagram that, yo, he not like these other rappers because he doesn't rent, he buys. So when the car company he rented from actually put up the same photo and they said, uh, our good friend Bow Wow pulling out to the Grammys with our Ferrari California. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They exposed you. How the fuck you paid them to get the car for the weekend and they exposed you, Bow Wow? What the fuck going on? Goes to show, Bow Wow, you should have humbled yourself and just gave them a fucking shout out. Now, 2015. 2015, Bow Wow was getting a very bad rep. For living with his mama. Okay, now of course sensible people realize that he bought the house that him and his mom lived in. However, because of his public statement saying he lived in the basement, he let her have the rest of the house. People thought it was kind of bummish that he lived with his mom. I thought it was kind of cool because, yo, it's your mom, right? But people thought it was bummish. Now when he got with Erica Mena, a lot of jokes flew around talking about their fucking in the mama's basement. Now, what he actually did is say that he got a new fucking mansion. Now, he put up a picture of him being in a new crib, and he was flexing like he bought an eight-bedroom Hollywood Hills mansion next to the likes of Diddy and Jimmy Ivey, and he wrote this caption. Just listen to the caption. Listen. When you move next to Diddy and Jimmy Iovine, and your realtor leaves this as a gift, I'm like, damn! This is how they do it. $1,500 bottles of Cristal. Damn, as a closing gift, just know this made me work harder. And just know this ain't one of them Hollywood Hills homes these guys rent during the weekends. I waited years for this. I worked hard for this. The world is up for grabs. How bad you want it. Let this motivate my young homies. I am not these other guys. Turns out he was right. He ain't like these other guys. He's a fucking fraud, okay? He's frauded. Now, it was later exposed that he was actually renting the crib for $12,000 a month. And to me, that's very impressive. But why lie to say you fucking owned it, right? He even put other comical captions of him in the crib talking about when they confuse your home with the hotel lobby. Just know it took more than rap to be here. Really, nigga? Really? Now, 2016, he continued that trend, okay? I'm sorry. I know this is long-winded, but we got to explain why he's new, the new fraud king, okay? 2016, he posted up a money pick with a caption that said, liquid cash. He says, fuck a net worth, okay? Now, here's the thing, man. It wasn't his money. It wasn't his money. The real owner of the stack of cash quickly corrected him by saying, another musician, Shad Moss, is using my cash photos. Come on, bow out. Don't post in black and white. At least use my original photo in all its glory. Or better yet, go sign up at whatever website so I could teach you how to make it yourself so you don't have to reuse anyone's photos. You can be my next millionaire student if you're dedicated. Wow. 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 What what else could I say? Now, he didn't learn his lesson from that. Only a couple months later in November, he continued to fraud it out. He wanted to let people know that because the Atlanta Falcons, which he is an Atlanta native, is it, the Atlanta Falcons is his favorite team. He wanted to let people know that when he does watch his favorite team play football, he watches it from the comfort and the luxury of a box suite, okay? He had box seats, right? Now, if you rented like a box at an NFL stadium, right, it could go from anywhere from fifteen to probably even 75000 all right? It depends on what you want, so that's a lot of money. Now, this is what he tweeted out. Tweeted out on a Sunday. He said, had the suite for the Falcons game today. No way I could make it. Just rap from set. I need to sleep. Watching my birds from bed rise up. Now, sounds good. He got box seats, all that. Sounds good. He's paying all his money. Unfortunately, he was exposed by his fucking ignorance. All right. Uh, the Falcons were on a bye week that week. They weren't even fucking playing. How the fuck you got seats for a game not even happening, right? You ain't got no seats to the fucking suite, nigga. You ain't got seats at the fucking stadium. 
unfortunately, this is just showing a pattern of how this nigga's been frauding it up. I want to say that, Bow Wow, you don't have to do this. You don't have to be frauded. We know you're not fucking broke. We know you're getting some money and maybe your income, maybe your income is just high six figures. Maybe it's not even seven figures. Or maybe you're just making one or two million per year now and you're living off a lot of residuals. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing to be shamed of. Some point, y'all niggas, all these rappers, they're going to have to start downsizing in cribs. They're going to have to start consolidating with whips. They're going to have to start motherfucking using their frequent flyer miles. They're not going to be flying on private jets and doing all that type of stuff. It's okay when you guys are coming back down. Don't fake and fraud it. Bow Wow, you make yourself look stupid and more stupid every time you do this. That's one of the reasons a lot of people consider you a fucking joke. That's one of the reasons you are the butt of most people's joke. And that's one of the reasons a lot of people believe you're corny. By the way, I don't think you're corny. I think you're actually dope. But I can see where the perception of you, of you being a fucking laughing stock of the industry, comes from when you're doing shit like this because you don't need to do it. And you're not like Soulja Boy who will go to the extreme of pulling out a fucking Draco, I think. So I'm wondering what the fuck do you get out of it? You're getting beautiful women already. Yo, your track record with women is amazing. So if you're getting beautiful women without doing that, who are you impressing? I would like to find out. I want you guys to get in the comment box. Do you think that Bow Wow is a new fraud king? I think he either got to share the title with Big Draco or he is the new fraud king. How could he not be? You let me know. Get in the comment box. You boy, Jackie Demix. I'm up.